Or not you you're a big brother guy right i i used to be a big brother guy i used to watch it with my family every week but i kind of fell off kind of got boring to it's me it's all stars right now yeah yeah that's they're the they're best watching of the best home. uh-huh the best of the best and then sonora just told us elena davies former asu student was on big was brother, on big brother. Hmm. that must have been before i started watching it and it's She's heyday. now a social yeah. media influencer you get paid to be an influencer I think, yeah, I do think you do. I think, like, so, like, you get so many likes and stuff, and so people pay you. Like a buck a like? I don't know. I know Cannon. Like, Is he an influencer? He, he, gets, he gets stuff from you. He gets a check, royalty check from YouTube. Cannon, your son? Yeah. I don't. Like $3. And, nice. Wow. Because he's made some, like, he made a deal on, like, best and worst uniforms. Of all time, and well, that's kind of cool. Yeah, hmm. he, he's good at that. It's impressive. Do you know Angelo State had the best restrooms to use? That Do was, we really? That was a there was an article in the Rampage, a feature. Oh article. yeah, which ones on campus? Which restrooms are the best to use? Well, George Costanza had a list too in the city in on Seinfeld. Yeah, I mean, you know, that. but but does it really matter? Does it really matter? Uh, no, and and I think it's a legit question because, it you know, like matter. if I'm on a road trip, I don't like to stop and use public restrooms. But if you do stop, you know, you want to make sure that it's There what? should be a book and or internet guide, like a web page. Yeah. Maybe that would be on the dark web. The should dark web. App. Should make it an app. And to make it an app. Mm-hmm. What is the website to the dark web? Does anybody know? Is no, it just darkweb.net? We I don't think we want to know, though. No, I don't think we can know because then all of a sudden we're tracked. Well, I think like they'll come get us. They will. I don't they know. will come get us. The man. <laughs> anyway, I think we're starting. We have. Anyway, welcome Ram fans. Kevin Brooks along with the uh, minister slash czar of culture, Manny Campos, and our special guest today, uh, Jake Rogers, pitcher yeah. for us from Las Vegas. Yes, sir. How about that right in? Las Vegas. <laughs> yeah. Golly, so, I've heard of that place. I've read about it. Anyway, so... I see why they call it Sin City. Why? <laughs> I, don't <know. laughs> I, the, I don't know. What the hangover speech I, from Alan golly. when he's like, how about that right in? <laughs> now I know why they call it Sin City. Huh. Yeah. And they hadn't done anything. They just yeah. got in there. So do you, uh, you know, a man of your stature, do you, are you real familiar with like inner city Las Vegas or are you like in a rural part or how does that, I don't, I'm so, ignorant, so. The the city part that everyone really thinks about, like the strip and everything, most locals actually don't really go there. I live probably 20, 25 minutes from the strip, and the only reason I go down there is for concerts and stuff like mm-hmm. that, but I don't really spend a whole lot of time down there, actually. So it's all the tourists? Yeah. yeah like yeah. Kevin That's and funny. myself. That's why we stay away. <laughs> Kevin yeah. went Kevin went recently. Didn't you go last December? I did, and actually, mm-hmm. th- th- guess who I saw in Las Vegas? Co Wetzel. Mm-hmm. Jack right. Rogers. And, oh, you saw each other? Yeah. yeah. Were you at the concert? Yeah, I was, of I was taking my best friend to the concert. I take him to a concert every year, and yeah, it happened to be the same concert. So was the venue set up to where it was so small that you would run into each other, or it was just by chance, or you just knew each other was going to be there? We knew each other were going to be there. Mm-hmm. But I was, actually, I think that's when I had the Rona. You can't say that, because now you probably have to quarantine <laughs> That for was in days. December. Well... Now that we know, we have to act on it. Anyway, okay. But, so, you know, it's sort of a young person's thing, and there's a large gathering of young people, and I was <laughs> like, I don't want to sit there. So I, I, my wife and I, we went VIP. Nice. And oh, yeah. sat upstairs at our little table. Those looked, like, overlooking the those stage. looked like some good seats. They really there. were. They were yeah. great seats. and. Anyway, how'd you enjoy the concert? I really enjoyed it a lot, actually. I thought he was, he's probably the best concert I've been to live so far. The best ever concert you've really? ever been yeah. to. Really? Yeah. The See, best live say, show hey, ever? You no, know, Manny. Wow. Manny. Wow. Manny. No, no, that's cool. That's cool. <laughs> Ooh, look, we have, did you see we have a little, I do did. that again. Can, little, you, can you flash that back up there? No, that's just. You got to, look at that. Oh, wow. Look at minister slash czar <laughs> of culture. That's great. This is fantastic. I'm so excited. This is my favorite day ever. This. You have what are those called? Those are called uh, taggers, taglines. What'd you say? I don't know what he said. Okay. <laughs> That's the, one, the bad part of the master. I get my Google train. But yeah, lower third. Lower, lower third is lower what that's third. called. Yeah, but you know, I'd call it a nameplate. 
but you know that's pretty cool all right i'm sorry i'm done getting excited but about anyway it. but yes it was really good no did, yeah. did you get the, the opening act was a local band yeah they were I thought local they were dude had like too. a chinchilla around his neck yeah some I, type I, I of never pelt. Heard. <laughs> so speaking of chinchilla somebody was walking you know with the first day of fall uh, a friend of mine who when works for the Chamber of Commerce, her office overlooks the river. And I saw her post on Facebook saying that she looked out her window and there was someone uh, with a uh, some sort of primate in a baby carriage oh. on the Concho River. Yeah, you. Pet they said they thought it was a baby and then all of a sudden a tail came out. And it was like, it wasn't a dog. Huh. So do monkeys sort of, have tails? Monkeys don't have tails. Do monkeys? I think certain, yeah, certain I think they do. species do. Chimps. I, I, Chimps, chimps do not may, have well i don't think it was a okay. chimp i don't know how legal it is to have oh uh, it's legal it's i legal. think pretty sure I well a lot a lot of kids in my like neighborhood had uh, i mean monkeys it could be hearsay it could be like the pigs. nessie but that's interesting i mean I'd, I'd be excited if i saw <laughs> some sort of zoo animal on the river yeah well that I'm not a not a lion or tiger but anything else yeah I had lions and tigers and bears oh my well bear i'd like to have a bear i'd wrestle a bear wrestle yeah. So anyway, speaking of technology, for yes. those of you that are Apple users in the iPhone, there's new update which Manny's bitter about. Not bitter. You, I just I just question its accuracy. But the greatest thing on here, there's a little translate button, <laughs> and you can, you can like so I can be talking to you, and it translates it to any language. So right now I'm teaching my dog Spanish. So show us. Can the viewers hear this? You have to quit talking. Rude. Hold on. I'm sorry. Come on. We'll have to try it again. All right, we'll try it again. But yes, I'm going to show you how. So we'll stand by until he's ready, I guess. Sorry, viewers. All right, so here Otra we go. Pero sí, te voy a enseñar el infierno de so stand by. I'm going to show you so the fire again, but yes, I'm going to show you hell. I guess it misread. It said infierno, which means hell. Yeah, so fire. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Instead again. Of hell, I think it did. We didn't announce. I don't it think that translator app is programmed to handle Coach Brooks. Is what it is. It's like well, it's see, and I can even say the words properly. So, otra vez, pero si te voy a enseñar el infierno. Day so stand by. My apologies to the Hispanic community <laughs> on Hispanic characters. But I can month. do it in all sorts of language. Finish. <laughs> check. Golly. You can do any Italian. Language. Can you do Mandarin? Let me check. Mandarin. So I'm very excited about this. Very, very excited. We can you want to do Mandarin? Well, just any I mean, you know, I just want to check uh, it's it's offline. Oh. But no, we can't do it. We can do Arabic. Chinese, English, UK, or English, US, because they're different. French, German, Italian, Japanese, Korean, Portuguese, Russian, and Spanish. Sounds like a Bruce Springsteen I'm song. I'm very excited yeah. about this. Well, so, I don't much care for the widgets. Especially like, I watched the KBO, which is the Korean baseball uh -huh. I thought that was the Russian police. No, that's the KGB. Oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> um, but anyway, so I can like tell what the announcers are saying and stuff. Is that still going on? Oh, yeah. The LG Twins. That's my team. They're so are they push. still in it? The LG Twins still in it? Yeah, I want the LG Twins, yes. Mm -hmm. The NC Dinos right now are probably going to hang on and win the regular season. But I feel like we got it. We, we played well second yeah. half of the season. I watched a little bit of that. What did you think about like the skill level of all – the Thought it Korean was uh, pretty equivalent to college, probably a little that's, below. That's what I was thinking but too. Pretty similar. Mm -hmm. So, but there's some really good players over there. That, oh yeah, that, uh, definitely. Go have great years and, and end up signing some big league contracts. But they're you know especially when they get in the bullpens, the pitching really drops off. Yeah. Um, when they get down in the late innings, but I love the KBO. I still record every mm -hmm. game. I don't watch it as much now as there's other stuff. But how how are our MLB doing? MLB last week of the regular season. Yeah. Coach Moat was very happy. The Reds got a big win last night. I think they're going to get in the playoffs. My um, the Rangers clinched. are fighting for the first pick overall in the draft next year. <laughs> so if we can lose the next three and the Pirates can somehow <laughs> win a couple, we'll be sitting there. You're and asking then, a lot of the Pirates there, though. Yeah, they're, but they're, they're, hey, 
they finish finish strong mm-hmm. <laughs> and then uh the astros are in the playoffs but they're limping in and you're a dodgers yeah. guy i'm a dodgers guy we just clinched i'm very excited about that okay yeah. i watched them last night mm-hmm. against the uh padres no that athletics, was a couple nights ago it? they played padres last night i think they played the athletics played the ace yes yeah. and the a's were running, but Ch- uh, chapman's out uh oh really yeah he's out for the season their third baseman, he's a stud. He's, yeah, he's really good. So, anyway. But, uh, all right, Jake, so you've been in San Angelo now. This is year two. And last year, I guess you really weren't here the whole time. Yeah, I didn't get the full year. Got, I got cheated got out of half a home. semester. Yeah. So, what's been the translation or the adjustments from the bright lights and big city <laughs> of Vegas to San Angelo? Or has there been one? Well – Got to make sure that you get all your shopping done before 10 o'clock because everything's closed after 10 p.m. Sure. pretty much. Now yeah. with the corona. Yeah. Is. But even it before It wasn't then. before. Yeah. Yeah. But, you think uh, before? I guess I didn't do a whole lot of shopping at 11 p.m. I like <laughs> to go to H-E-B and Walmart for late. groceries late. Yes, no line. Exactly. And to, you know. It used to be open till midnight. I don't like that grocery store shopping is a social event today. So I'd, I'd rather just go in and buy my eggs and bacon and, and leave, you know. But uh, although... You know, the do you like the automatic checkout, you know, where you can just check out your own groceries? Yeah, I usually go there. But I always mess it up because I can't find, if I buy produce, I can't, I always just mess it up. And so then, so then the manager has to come help me through. And then everybody's like, look at this guy. Yeah, this guy can't do it. He's screwed it up. So, yes. you know, anyway. So I, I like using, uh, at Sam's, I use the app. So do you? So I scan as I go. Really? And then I just walk out. Like, really? Oh, hey, and it just you charges it. you? So it's, yep. oh, that's kind of cool. It's really good. I didn't realize it worked that way. Yeah. I did use the delivery, or not the delivery, the uh, curbside yes. during the quarantine, mm-hmm. um, which was cool. The only problem with that was sometimes you didn't get the brands that you like, you know. And, yeah. Ah, but, but I thought you order a specific brand. Don't so, there? like, one of my favorite foods, and I don't know if you've ever had this food, Jake, it's called Fidel. It's like it's like ver- rice, vermicelli. It? Yeah, it's like a pasta, okay. whatever. Anyway, it's a Mexican uh, dish, and sometimes anyway. So there's a brand that's in a yellow box that is in the ethnic food aisle, mm-hmm. uh, and so you grab it. And it's but it's kind of hidden. But if they don't have the brand, they oftentimes give you a different brand, and it's definitely different when you cook it. So okay. there's one in the box and one in the bag. Always buy the one in the box. The one in the bag is a little too Italian. Which okay. I didn't mean that offensively, but I'm just saying it's just different. Take it away, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying a lot of things. So, well, yes, I've used. So, also, there's a delivery option. Yes, from Sam's, in which I use, which I'm about Favor. to the point now. So, last Thanksgiving, we needed uh, red cups. You know, the solo cups. Red solo cups. I think mm-hmm. we've talked about this. You had a thousand of them. Well, I thought I ordered a, a sleeve. Uh, yes, I ordered box. thousands of wow. them. I got a huge box of Red Solo cups, which I'm about to run out of. Yeah. So again, our uh, I'm not a big believer in washing dishes. So <laughs> me too. Now the rest of my family they like using regular stuff, and that's fine. But wash your dish, right? I've I've started when when somebody in my household makes me mad, I have a list on the refrigerator, and I put a rule up concerning said offense i thought it was everybody love everybody that's the number one rule ele ele everybody love everybody Mm -hmm. but like when you walk when you eat something wash your dish when lg you know wants to go downstairs you go over and you pick him up and you carry him that's a rule yeah because it's lg it is lg and then you have pets jake I do. I have two dogs back home and a turtle. And a turtle? Yeah, yeah. Is that a Vegas thing? <laughs> so we were we were walking our dogs, actually, and there was just a little little tortoise about this big right in the middle of the road. And we picked him up, and, I mean, it was in the middle of the road. We can't just leave him there. And they so. can live to be thousands of years old, right? Yeah, they live. That, thousands? That, <laughs> I think it's hundreds. <laughs> it's hundreds. <something. laughs> this horse, this turtle is 2,000 years old. That turtle yeah. might outlive me, though. That's kind well, of cool to think. That's true with parrots. I think. And parrots? Yeah, parrots. parrots. I, I, this might be inaccurate, but we have fact checkers working behind the scenes. Uh, <laughs> parrots, I think you have to sign a waiver 
uh, when you buy or purchase legally, of course, a parrot or toucan or whatever, because they tend to live a couple hundred years, I think. Am I making this uh, up? You are just making stuff up. I don't know. I've never heard. But of anyway, a bird so you sign. You have to sign that you have someone to leave the bird to, because uh, most likely the bird is going to outlive you. It's true. I think you're making that. I think this is true. We need Our a parrot checkers. owner to to tweet us in. Yeah. Or uh, they I mean, they're they're descendants of the of the dinosaur people. Dinosaur. I mean, the dinosaur species. <laughs> Excuse me. It's been a long morning. Uh, but I, uh, anyway, so yeah, I mean, so I think they do live long. I don't know if it's hundreds of years, but I think they live at least 150 years, at least, not 100 years. Parrot. A parrot. Yeah, the very. So like. The parrots that are around today probably like were on the ship with Blackbeard, probably. sailing the seven seas. Yes, looting and what, what? What did pirates do? They loot. Uh, they well, they look for treasure. I guess I don't know. And looking for treasure, <laughs> looking for treasure in all and the wrong places. And then the parrot, Kenny Rogers, maybe because it repeats the stuff, could tell you where the treasure was. Yes, and then we'd all be rich. We get doubloons. So you have a turtle. Somehow we went off. Yeah. From that, so you have a turtle and two dogs. What kind of dogs do you have? A uh, Jack Russell Terrier and a miniature Schnauzer. Oh, nice. Yeah, very cool dogs. Yeah. Jack Russell Terriers live forever, too. Do they? Yeah, he's actually 14 years See? old. Is he yeah. doing well? Yeah, he. I mean, he's doing better than my miniature Schnauzer. Yeah. So, yeah, he's, I don't know, yeah. he's a tough old. I hate seeing thing. dogs get old, though. Well, like, yeah. my, my dog is about to be 12, and mm -hmm. he's tough. not. he doesn't have as much give in those hind legs as he used yeah. to. So. Speaking it's of tough. that, I've got a major... I don't know if this is a HIPAA violation, but is it regarding regarding Paisley? my other dog, one Paisley. of my other Paisley, Paisley. The other day we had a frisbee throwing incident. Um, anyway, she tore her ACL. her ACL, so Aww. we're gonna have to go. She's gonna see Beatty. Go or under the she, she <laughs> go under the knife. We're gonna put her in the so ice bath. We're right now we're putting feelers out for uh, you know the top veterinarian. Surgeons is Troy Hill involved in either? I asked Troy Hill if he thought he could do it, and yeah. he said, "Yeah, he thought he could, but he didn't give me enough, you know." Especially after the the trainer for the or the doctor for the uh, Chargers shot the dude up and punctured his lung on oh uh, Monday night. So I didn't, uh, that I, I I'm not aware of this headline. Did y'all say I didn't? I, I wasn't didn't, either. I Troy Hill's the one that. that told me about it. I, I question Troy Hill's information a lot of no, times. No, that was accurate. I saw like a headline. So he's like, he was giving him like a pain shot in his rib. And I guess he went a little too deep with the needle and punctured his lung. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. That, okay. That sounds painful. It does yeah, really sound does. painful. It's not fact. a good thing. So it does sound painful. Another one of our one fans of our out fans there. Out there yeah. So. Anyway, but so yeah, Katie that, Couric, I think. But I anyway, yeah. So Paisley has to do. I think it's a multi-million dollar knee replacement, basically. Am I gonna have to have another concert? She's I think we're gonna have to. Yeah. Have, we're yeah. getting the band back together, boys. <laughs> yeah, raising money to fix a puppy's ACL. Well, I know, you know, and and there was some disagreement in the house over said finances, you know, of of, of and I'm Kevin. You have to be careful what you're about to say. Well, and I'm like, it's part of the family. We have to do this. But are we talking, this procedure is going to be thousands of dollars. It's going to be thousands of dollars, yes. yes. And so you, your your dilemma is where do we draw the line? No, not mine. The rest, the, some other members. The other members of the family. Some other members. Their country And for, and for the fans watching, oh. the Brooks household has 14 members. <laughs> Just in one house. It's like the old man in the shoe. <laughs> it's very similar. Yes. So anyway, I think we're all on board now. Yeah. But yeah. they're like, hey, you know, she can tough it out. Jake, do you have family watching? Have you informed I, your the Rogers clan? I did not get a chance to inform them. I was hoping to. How how bro how, how heartbroken are they? <laughs> oh, they're they're gonna maybe be, they're maybe they're well, tuning this would be like breakfast. You yeah. Know, yeah. Breakfast. Because, Luckily, well, there's archival not, footage. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's true. They're, they're what do they teach? So my dad's a chemistry teacher in high school, and hey, I'm on ramp talk. Uh, my mom, <laughs> my mom's a kindergarten teacher. <laughs> nice. Who was that? Uh, that was the head coach at St. Edwards, Rob Pinder. St. Edwards. Hey, I know he watches. Coach is calling Kendrick. in live on ramp talk. <laughs> anyway, we if, get that all the time. Mom, more meatloaf. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, but yeah, so got that. So we're we're scouting out the top. Nice. Joe Scott Pace. 
I've heard uh, of him. Actually, called him because you know he's in vet school, former Ram. Yeah, mm-hmm. uh, and uh, did some consultation on, you know, what we needed to do. There's several different options. On what type of well, surgeries and stuff. So I hope Paisley recovers well. Paisley's well. back. That's yeah. what I'm really worried about, though, is not – but she's got to, like, sit still for, like, two months. And Paisley is and an Paisley Australian is shepherd? Border collie. Border collie. Who is very active. Yeah. And who's never – Has no chill. Yeah. yeah. So I'm really worried about that. And yeah. I'm not I, – I can't put her in, like, a kennel cage. And, you know, 14 people in the household and also about another 14 pets – yeah, we just got a new dog, Oscar. Oscar, yeah, Oscar. who is rambunctious, right? He's rambunctious. Well, that we got the dog for Paisley to, you know, have somebody to play. So, with. for those of you that are pet owners, I have to bring this up. Kevin has one of those. What are they called that deliver treats? Oh, Furbo. Furbo, Furbo, which is a video camera that you put in your wherever in your home, and then you can activate it to deliver a treat yes. to said pet. To said pet. However, okay. Kevin. Well, Kevin, tell that story because I think that's well, yes. nuts. So uh, you, you get an alert saying, yeah. hey, your dogs are active. So I pull up the screen. I think you were with me mm-hmm. at the time. So I was like, oh, I'll throw him a treat. So I throw the treat and Oscar's there and Oscar sprints down the stairs because he's scared of the treats coming at him. Well, 15, 20 minutes later, he realized, oh, that was food. <laughs> he eats them all. And then I come home. And he has figured out how to knock the Furbo over, empty all the treats, and eat them all. Eat all the oh, treats. So, so smart dog. Furbo is. He is very smart, and he mm-hmm. likes eating. Well, there was a, this was like when we first got him, so he wasn't potty trained yet. So mm-hmm. we lock him in the bathroom, and uh, my wife and daughters and son and everybody left earlier. And so before I left, I was like, I'm going to go check on him. And I go in the bathroom, and the bathtub is on and he is swimming trying to keep his head above water and thank god i went in there because he he likes jumping in the tub but somehow he turned on the water Mm. put down the drain yeah (laughs) and was anyway i i don't know if he would have drowned that would have been really bad but i don't know if that hold up in a court of law like a small that was, puppy, that was like an attractive nuisance. A small puppy <laughs> turned a faucet on and plugged the tub. Like, yeah, and then he cooked me a quiche. <laughs> like, come but on, he, seriously, that's not hard. Well, if you've seen Oscar, Oscar's tiny, so I don't like a big dog like Franklin. Sure, maybe. Like, okay, so I I figured out. So he's trying to jump out of the tub. Yeah. Well, as he jumps out of the tub, he hits the faucet. Yeah. Turns it on. Then the drain is just one of those that like twists real easy. So all he's got to do is step on it just the right way, and it goes down. It's like that so one it's really time, which pretty, is true. It kind of reminds me of the time Franklin, my seventy-pound Catahoula, accidentally took my car for a joyride <laughs> through the dean's front door. So yeah, <laughs> dogs are crazy. They do funny things. <laughs> I wouldn't have done that. Anyway, but yes, we love love dogs. Yeah, and mm-hmm. turtles. And turtles. Yeah. You like turtles, like that little yeah, video. I like turtles. Man, he's a really cool pet. I love him. <laughs> What's its name? Tommy Lee. Tommy well, Lee the turtle. Yeah. What's your name? <laughs> yeah. So anyway. So wait, are you? Did, <laughs> so Tommy Lee the turtle is Tommy Lee after the singer? Uh, the, drummer? the drummer. Oh, For the, the drummer. Well, yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. I mean, yeah, yeah. The yeah drum- that's exactly okay. where okay. we got it from. I don't want to know why, <laughs> but maybe why if it's appropriate for our viewers. Uh, just big fan or yeah just kind of a fan and he's I mean he's kind of tough he was out in the middle of the road so figured it just kind of fit yeah Tommy Lee out on the road yeah <laughs> man <laughs> yeah okay yes. so Neil Pert didn't just roll off the Neil tongue, Pert, so. man no rest in peace just in peace wasn't too long ago well. that was a very sad day anyway so we're getting ready yeah and I think Jeff even had to, we're gonna go with more graphics it's an to, amazing uh, graphic. Start the Angelo. It is an amazing graphic by the the uh, Minister of Culture. Look at that. that. Look Isn't at that. that just fantastic? Anyway, Somebody. so Fall World Series uh, starts next Friday, yeah. October second, mm-hmm. six thirty p.m. and fireworks. And if you haven't ever seen the Angelo State Baseball Fireworks Show, That's it, it really outdoes it. any Major League Baseball one I've been to. Yes. Anything. Really? Disney World. It is Six Flags. It is it unbelievable. Is it really yeah. is. You can actually see it uh, from satellite. That's how impressive it is. <laughs> I have uh, images. 
Do you? Yeah. But anyway, so that starts first. So for people who don't know, uh, this is something we do every year. Yeah. Um, we basically have a draft and divide the team, and we play a five-game series and, uh, you know, have the uniforms and have everything. I believe Manny Campos has agreed to open up Game one, yes. open up the series with the with national anthem. I'm going to do it horseback, horseback, uh, like Kenny Powers, uh, <laughs> with <laughs> Roman candles coming out of a holster, I think, or something. That would be awesome. Uh, that would be uh, I'm going to grow a mullet just for it. No, but I, I'm excited about it. It'll be great. And I think, you know, if you, if you uh, maybe aren't comfortable uh, coming out or whatever, you can drop the tail bed, uh, the tailgate and just have a seat and – just have a good time. I yeah, think. outside. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, yeah. and that's the one thing. With our stadium being so as big, big as it spaced is, spaced out, yeah. Uh, you should be able to safely social distance. Kevin, are course. the guys yeah. excited? I was going to ask Jake Rogers. Oh, uh, I'm very excited. I, I want to make it two for two this year. Yeah, I, yeah, I was going to ask. Did uh-huh. you win or – Yeah, yeah, I was year? on the Wangers last year. We won. The Wangers. Yeah. Is, are those the names? <laughs> are those the names? Uh, we don't know yet. The draft <laughs> until Monday, the, Monday, the coaches pick. The Wangers are coached by – our graduate assistant Dylan, coach Dylan Y Gang, yes, mm-hmm. whose so, nickname is Wanger, yes, and so it is self self titled, yes, it's a self titled team. Some of the best um, albums are self-titled. last year was what was Finky's team name? Um, uh, Mean Machine. The Mean Machine. Uh-huh. Yeah, that was a pretty good. And game it went too. five games, right? Didn't it yeah, go it, down went, the fifth it went the full and, five games and a uh, couple of. There were a couple of – there were some controversies. So these are mm-hmm. six games, though, right? What's that? Are these six or five, five. games? Five, five. Games. Best five of games. five. Okay. And we play all five yeah. regardless. Mm-hmm. And they're all seven innings but two, right? The last two are nine? Uh, well, it depends sort of where our pitching is. But, yes, right now the first three are scheduled for sevens and then the last two are scheduled for nines. Yeah. Always subject to change. Okay. You know, obviously we can play all nines. We'd rather do that. But, you know, we got to make sure the pitching. But – it's uh, it's something we've done. You know, we haven't had – we actually, the very first year of the program in 2000, that would have been fall 2004, we had fireworks and, and all that. And we yeah. had like two or 3,000 people for the inner squad. And we actually – we didn't have uniforms at that point, so we actually borrowed the Colts yeah. and uh, wore theirs. And it never fails. Put your pets inside. There would be fireworks on that day because every time we have fireworks – the media goes crazy. Not the media. I say that. The media Not does? the media. The, <laughs> our, 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 some folks in our community. Just because, they're like, oh, our dog ran away. Cause of, well, then put your dogs inside that night. So everybody, put your pups inside mm-hmm. just for about 15 minutes. It'll yeah. be fine. be great. We're on 9.30. No, well, we start at 6.30. Should be uh, – pitching's good. Shoot, man, 8.30. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 9 o'clock. But yeah. Anyway. It should be – anyway, it should be great. Uh, obviously, you know, the, the team last year when, when everything ended was, was ranked one in the country. Um, didn't get a chance to do that. So, it's first chance to, to get a sneak peek at the 2021 Rams, which I – I keep calling it 2020 because that's the year we're in. Yeah. Maybe it should be 20-21. An asterisk. We may not get to 21. Well. I hope we do. That no, we good. will. We will. You think so? Let me just push back on that. Are you talking about that we won't have the team, you mean? No. I'm just hoping to get to 2021. <laughs> oh, yeah. We'll get there. <laughs> That's it. It'll be with us simple, or without us, but steps, we'll man. get to that. I just try to get to the more. I understand where you're coming from. Yeah. So, anyway, but uh, it's a great event. Bring the family. Uh, you know, we'll have masks and or bring your masks. and Close to Halloween, too, that. so that'll be kind of fun, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, is it? It is. We're, we're in the month – the Halloween month. Well, if you go to Hobby Lobby, they've got Christmas stuff out already. So Now, is the, the spirit shop open this it year? It is. It is. Is it open yet? Yes. And so I think the CDC says we can uh, air gun candy out into the streets. Is that is We that can't the, hand it out, but according to – I'm just kidding. I don't, is that going to be the deal? I don't mean to be controversial. We're going to have our uh, pitcher home run derby. Yes, which is a lot of fun. on October 30th. Okay. Because okay. the 31st is uh, – uh, Halloween day. Yeah. yeah. We won't go on and Saturday. For the fans out there, it's fun because all the dudes dress up. They dress up. And they get they get into it. They're like and, big kids. Oh, yeah. And it's not just like some lame costume. Well, like Joe Scott Pace is like two years ago when he was Lieutenant Dan. Yeah. Uh, that's still one Weaver, of the best ones. Weaver like, and, Weaver and Riley yes. when they were uh, Blades of Glory. It was, that was funny. Yes. What were you last year? 
Uh, I was just a cop. I was just pretty simple. I had to get <laughs> Are something you thinking to of going? No, I got. I got to do something better this year for sure. You have any ideas no, that you can not share? Yet. I don't. I don't have any ideas. We had some yet. crayons. We had uh, a couple primates. We had a lot of things. It was last year was a fun year. Ice. We had uh, ice. Ice baby. Vanilla ice. Vanilla ice. Yeah. Vanilla ice. Yeah, we had vanilla. Uh, it was Thomas Kane and who was the other? There was a. It was a two person costume as well. Yeah. It was kind of more um, of a. Hardy? Maybe it was Hardy. I don't remember. I'd have to look at the picture. I'd have to look at the archival mm -hmm. footage. Judd Arrington, who's away now, he uh, was a, wasn't he like a koala or something? I don't know. <laughs> uh, I, I can't remember. I don't know. Well. And you were Tony Stark. I was Tony Stark. This mm -hmm. year, I have to I have to reinvent the wheel. I've got to be something different. But I, uh, I'll i dress up for Halloween until well, I this, I'm going, if I dress up, I'm going some Cobra Kai character. Cobra Kai. Maybe Johnny. Or Ralph Macchio. I think you should be uh, Danielson, Mr. Miyagi. He's not in Cobra well, Kai. Throw him His homage. spirit well. is in Cobra Kai, but mm. he is not physically present because he's he's he gone. Is it time for four words? Yeah. I hate Ooh. when I ask that question. Yes. Oh, it is. It is. <laughs> have we already gone over our? We have time? gone over time. This is a uh -oh, this extended. This is a bonus episode, Rams right. fans. But well, it's okay. Well, our ratings after last week. By the, the way, last week Travis McCorkle, head women's soccer coach, of course, worst ratings in history. Worst. Yeah, we'll Which never have surprising. Travis McCorkle back. <laughs> that is not surprising. But anyway, and but, I thought he actually did a good job. But uh, I'm he, just I, did you again? Fact. You, you didn't sit beside him though. He was sweating profusely. Super nervous, really. Like the sweat was like coming off on his makeup. Wow! And so I noticed that. But you know, it, it was his first time, obviously in public. Okay. So yeah. All right. Four All right. words. Mm -hmm. You know how to play? No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> we give you four words, and you have to use those four words in a sentence. And so you can't have run-ons. You can't, can't ed it. No. Yeah. You can't change the tense of the words. You can't throw in uh uh uh. You got to just be very. It's those four words in four words in a sentence. Mm -hmm. Put them in there. All and right. I'm gonna tell you what. I'm gonna allow some bonus points if you can do it in another language. Yes. I'll give you five bonus points. Mm. That's tough. I think that's fair. So do I think? So do we still want to do two and two, or do you do, just want to do all four? I, you know, it's up to you, Manny. Let's do two and two, and but I, I, we need to be kind of. McCorkle like wrote a rant. Apparently, there was a letter to the uh, editor of the newspaper about it. Yeah, uh, it, it was you know, pretty big controversy. It was very controversial. So let's kind of—I don't want to say dumb it down because <laughs> you can handle it probably better than McCorkle could. But <laughs> I hope so. let's let's do this. So Kevin, let's you start. Docile. I mean, again, I had vocabulary last night okay. with my daughter, so I'm, I'm I'm this was a docile, docile, and. Uh, I'll go non-vocabulary word. Docile and door. The wow. D's. Two D's. That's tough. Carport and majestic. Now, how am I supposed to make a sentence with those four words? That's the game, man. <laughs> um, I didn't make the All rules. Right. <laughs> Carport, majestic, docile, and door. Carport, majestic, docile, and door. Let's see. Um, you have forty-five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> the docile man opened the door to the majestic carport. Boom! That's an A. That is an A. Is it? You don't think don't that know. was good? It took him a little time. Maybe so, we can you just say it again, though? Just the whole thing. The, the docile, docile man opened the door to, to the, the majestic, majestic carport. carport. We're assuming that the carport has a door. We're just making a lot of assumptions. It, yeah, a carport a does have a door. My carport does not have a door. M my grandma's did. Well, I'm sorry. My Mimals. You better not talk bad about her. <laughs> okay, I'll give you a B plus. That's an All A, right, A yeah. plus. On, no, I have high man. expectations. A plus. That is one of the best ones ever done, Jake Rogers. Awesome. Manny is in a bad mood. I'm not yeah. in a bad mood. I just, <laughs> I have high expectations. I'm from the academic world. <laughs> <laughs> I take right. this stuff seriously. Well, thanks again for, for joining us. Mm -hmm. uh, again, we'll talk about it next week, but start getting ready for the uh, Ram Baseball Fall World, Fall World Series starting next weekend. 
and uh, fireworks, and we'll plan on seeing you out. See you next week. Yep. Thank